Come on, what's going on with... It looks the same. Where's all the decorations? We're not doing Halloween? Nah, I don't fuck the Fuck the, fuck the viewers, we're not doing Halloween? Fuck them. But I've been saving this for, like... I, I've been so excited about this. Hey, look at this. Hey, look. Oh, shit! <laughs> I can't have kids. Oh. What? I can't have kids no more. Because it is? Yeah. <laughs> this might be able to use this to my advantage. But this, this is ridiculous. Raj, right, like we're not doing this episode, the uh, Halloween episode? I don't know, guys. I mean, uh, you know, it's going to air after Halloween, so what's sort of the point? You know, I mean, Halloween's going to be over by the time people watch this episode. Roger Rabbit. <laughs> I got Roger. When I when I doing the, the Halloween episode. What do you mean when I doing Halloween? When it's, I doing it's, it. it's Halloween. There's a Halloween episode in Pete's in, in Roger's pants now. What do you mean when I doing the Halloween episode? Why not? Do you think I killed these people to get another blood on this thing to not do a Halloween episode? We're not dressed. Isn't that just December for you? Man. Aww. Oh. Pete's so upset. What? This is pretty scary. Ah! Oh, that's me. Oh. Put it on. <laughs> now, how creepy is that this? It is pretty damn creepy. I'll take it off. <laughs> Pull them up. Uh. What's up, guys? And welcome to the unofficial Halloween episode of Peach Basement, even though you're seeing this on November 2nd. So. Happy November 2nd. Happy November 2nd, indeed. You throwing in the towel? That always freaks me out. <clears throat> what? It really does. That's scarier than my costume and that fucking mask put together. What? Sweat rack? Yes! Ah, ah, ah! So what are we reviewing this week? Well, here. You go through this week's stash. Okay. And I'll make a couple of announcements. Uh, first off, Brian Gago, uh, thank you for coming up with the correct answer to our wire hangers contest. Pandalowski is the correct full name. That was all that was given. We weren't given a first name. Of uh, the DA in Brian and your Brian Gago in Alan Roberts wire hangers, so you will be getting your four free, fully autographed copies of wire hangers one through four. As soon as you send us your address, we promise we will not hand deliver them in trench coats in the rain. When you say four free, you mean four free or four free? We're gonna send them the number four, and you should sign it. No, but four free comics or four free comics. Are they for free? I'm Same as you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, that was an Abbott and Costello routine, kind of redubbed for Pete and Steve. Uh, for those of you who do know, congratulations, you have comedic culture. Um, we have Gino Ames who wrote to us and asked, probably me mostly, because I'm the only one insane enough who would be able to answer this. Um, what do you guys think could possibly bring the amazing back to Spidey? Um, we're going to cover that a little later when we get to Spider-Man and this issue. And Seriously. that kind of goes along with Patrick Ennis. Any relation to Garth Ennis? Uh, he asked us, what about what do we think of varying covers and shit like that? So um, we'll touch on that actually at the same time when we get to Spidey. Because Spidey's been having a slew of varying covers lately that have been all but fucking useless. Uh, so right off the bat... Action Comics 894. Uh, I only bought this because of the cover, because I like the character Death, and I just really appreciated the um, David Finch cover. So that was why I got it. Uh. Other than that, I have no idea what's going on in Action Comics. The artwork inside is nice. Well, I know what's going on, but I didn't pick that issue up. I so what's going on, Ron? Why are there look like the two Luthors? Um, one is dead, and one is his spirit, his soul, uh -huh. and the soul's speaking to him, Death. Um, Luther's going around trying to find a ring, a power ring. He still misses his orange ring, uh -huh. and he wants it. And he's found some weird black ring energy on the planet, so he's been going around trying to look for it. Okay. Swell. Why is he dead and alive at the same time? I got his ass whooped something last season, and you know, now death showed up because, you know. You see that? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to touch on this in a moment, mm -hmm. actually. I want to keep this, this issue out, and I want to hold on to this page for myself as well. Let's just get to uh, Superman 704. I actually wound up picking up 
the variant cover on this issue. I'm only sticking around with this until I get to the end of the walking series. Uh, you know, this walking story arc that Supes has been doing lately. I dropped it. What about the... Did you really? How long is it For you to drop a book, it's got to seriously suck. Two books I dropped right there. This, Actual it doesn't story. totally blow, though. Like... I'm not a I big mean, fan of Lane. I think she should be dead. Okay. But, um, he still, like, the whole, yeah, he's still walking through fucking America. But is there still, yeah. like, little things he's working on? Yeah. Like, fixing? Mm -hmm. not There's no main plot this, line. This yet. is a separate shit. I really hope this doesn't last a year at this no, point. I, I, I haven't read this one yet, actually. I haven't really had time to... It's, it's all about Lois Lane. Oh, okay. okay. Not you, hate, you hate Lois Lane. Yeah, I hate it. Bitch. Now, the only reason I picked up this variant cover, uh, Patrick, was because the original cover sucked. And the original cover was going to cost me $3 anyway, so I figured, well, what's 2 bucks in the grand scheme of things? When it comes down to prices like that, like a $5 variant cover, which That's I also fine. picked up a Hellboy issue, which I'll show you guys later on, uh, that cover was three fifty, and then the variant was $5, and the variant was just a lot better than the standard cover. So for that, I can actually justify, well, which cover do I like better? When it comes to variants that are like 20 bucks and shit like that, yeah, screw that. it's fucking mostly ridiculous. Jim Lee came out... They had an awesome variant cover of his uh, Justice League 50 with the, his take on the Justice League fighting Starro. That's a fucking awesome picture. So and that shit is like a $75 cover. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, fucking man, it's on his asshole day. Fucking VPing, whatever the fuck he does. That shit Don't, is still I like fucking, fucking $60 on Jim eBay. Lee. My favorite artist sold the fuck out. The, join the club, man. How do you think I feel about J. Scott Campbell? The fuck? That's true. He does covers. He does covers. That's all he fucking does. You're not allowed to punch me. I'll hit you back. Grow some tits, and then you can punch me. Oh. How creepy is that? Pete, for the next six months, no eye contact. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Ramon, you seem to be picking up these uh, Bruce Wayne Road Home books, Ra's al Ghul and the Oracle. Um, Ra's al Ghul looks like the owl, and he's got a really huge head in this. <laughs> yeah, this was Look at this cover. Look at that. That's a fucking horrendous cover. All the Road Home books are interconnected, interconnected one big old <coughs> whatever. Right. right. Um... Batman's back. Bruce Wayne's back. Officially? Yes. Well, here he is. He hasn't come not back in, in the other... He's no. not in... No. Batman, uh... In Batman and Robin, he came back. Hasn't finished yet. And that other Return to History shit, he hasn't come back. And that other shit, he doesn't remember his memory. But in this shit, he's quoting... So he's saying that, you know, he they missed did, these guys the whole time. They did that with Cap, too. Was so, Cap back before, like, his actual... Yes. Yeah, the same shit happened. So, on, you know what's funny is... Jokes? Yes, jokes are funny. But... You know what's funny that you have to laugh at or you'll scream and go insane is not only is DC and Marvel just fucking totally copycatting off each other, if I can use a nice fucking 80s five-year-old term. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. They're copying each other for decent stories and they're copying each other for fucking stupid mistakes. Mm -hmm. How is how are they gonna have Batman back before he's officially back? If you that was a blunder on Marvel's part. Improve on a fucking idea. Get your shit out on time. Don't release this book for another fucking month. What's the rush? This been what the fuck? For 40 years. Stan Lee was in an interview once and he said that, like, Marvel would put, like, word bubbles on the covers. And then and DC, DC stopped would stop copying it over. And then Marvel would stop and DC would stop. Like, they right. Would just, you know, vice Oh, yeah, no, they absolutely play off of each other, but. And this is the other thing that I wanted to bring up. So you say, saying, uh, you know, and in one set of stories, he doesn't remember anything about traveling to the past, and in the other set, he does remember. Yeah, and the shit Grant Morrison writing, he don't remember shit. In this series, he remembers he misses them and how he worried about uh, them. Credit where credit is due, I believe, in this case, that, I mean, it, it's a shitty story as far as I'm concerned, but he shouldn't remember what the fuck happened. I don't think. I don't think he should. Working through time... He shouldn't remember who he was and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, like, he shouldn't be missing everybody. When he gets back, he should obviously have the recollection of, holy shit, I was fucking stuck in time. Mm -hmm. But, you know. I, so what is he not supposed to remember? I'd like to fucking totally forget this no, whole thing. No, but he's supposed to remember on. now when he's oh, back. Are we doing a bit? We're not remembering. No, 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 we're not no, doing no. a bit. Actually, this, I'm just bitching. I don't understand the, what you're saying. Is that Basically, you? like... He got sent back in time. Right. He has no clue of that he was Batman. At while all. he's lost in time, and while he's lost in time, he lost. shouldn't be missing Oracle. He shouldn't be, you know, saying, "Oh, I wonder how right. Dick is doing." Right. But when he gets back to the present, he should have the recollection of, "Holy shit, I was stuck in time." Right. You know? Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. Which brings me up to this shit. All of these new Batman books you're seeing. Uh, the advertisements strewn amidst the DC books for Batman Incorporated, Batman which is one died. of the lame brainest fucking ideas I've ever heard. That's a serious cock. Holy shit.